Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jonathan, and again, I wanted to welcome you back. Guys, if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. I've been coming up with a lot more content every other day, so I'm going to continue doing this. Um, I'm not sure for how long, but this is what I'm doing right now. I love doing it, and I want to go ahead and help you guys grow your influence and grow your SMA if you're following me because of the, the SMA journey. Um, I know it's a tough time out there, especially for the SMA community because of the whole coronavirus, especially if you're doing lead gen. If, you if you're not doing lead gen and you're doing e-com, you're probably doing pretty well, but it's probably still affecting your business just in general. You know, for me that I'm doing lead generation, um, all of my clients are closed right now. Um, so obviously there's no money coming in, which is a tough time to be in. Um, and I know there's a lot of you out there that are going through the same exact thing. So if you are, just go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you're doing about it. Maybe you're giving me, you can give me some tips on how I can handle the situation better. But right now, I'm just focusing on growing my influence and coming out with more content. Because like I always talk about, guys, the more output, the more outflow you do, the more inflow you get. So the more videos I put out, the more clients I'm going to get and the more my brand is going to grow. So that's what I want to focus on. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And today, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about something super, super important important that not a lot of people talk about, right? A lot of people talk about, okay, how to get clients. Um, you know, do you need a website? What's the best niche? All of these questions that I get asked, but nobody really asks about, okay, what are the certain skill sets that you actually need in order to be successful in SMA? What skill sets do you need to acquire to actually get these client results, okay? And how do you get yourself results using these skill sets that you can have, right? The more you have, the more skill sets you have, the more your value is going to be, right? So for example, if you have one skill set, right? If you have one skill set, you can charge very high premium, but if you have five skills, right? If you have five skill sets, your value is going to go up, Right, so the more skill sets you have, the more your value goes up. So you have to focus on this, acquire more skills every single time because the more skills you have, the more your value is gonna go up. So now, let's go ahead and actually talk about what are those five skill sets that you need in order to um, you know, be successful online. All right, so number one. Number one is paid traffic. So what is paid traffic for those who have no idea what paid traffic is? Paid traffic is having the ability to turn a stranger into um, you know, a customer or a lead. That I consider that paid traffic. I know paid traffic is just turning on ads, but paid traffic goes beyond that because anybody can just create an ad and turn it on, right? So the whole idea of paid traffic is in being able to drive traffic to a website. So that is very, very important to do. You need to grab someone's attention from a platform or from wherever they are and take them into your own funnel, into your own website. That is the ability of paid traffic. Paid traffic is like a bridge. So, right, so your customer is right here. This is paid traffic to get them into your, into your platform, right, into your website. So you want them to go from here to here. So how do you do that? You do that with paid traffic. That is the most important thing that you need to acquire, especially, especially if you want to run Facebook ads. If you have a Facebook ad agency, you need to know how to do paid traffic, not just on paid Facebook ads, but you need to diversify. You need to know how to run paid traffic on Google, um, YouTube or YouTube and Google are the same thing, but you guys need to be able to know how to run paid traffic in all the platforms, not just Facebook ads, because the moment that Facebook ads gets too expensive, what are you going to do? Your whole agency is going to suffer, right? So... Most people have a Facebook ad agency, which is fantastic. But the more you acquire skill sets, you can turn that Facebook ad agency into a paid ad agency, like an ad agency, and actually have an advertising agency, not just a Facebook ad agency, okay? So there's a difference right there. You can charge higher premiums with, with that if you actually run Google ads and YouTube ads and Facebook ads, obviously, but you have to know how to do it properly because they're going to be spending more money with you, so they want a higher return on investment. So, number two is email marketing, right? So, email marketing. Now, a lot of people say, okay, email is dying. Okay, yes, it could be dying, but right now it's still really, really relevant. And you need to go ahead and learn it because the moment that you learn how to do email marketing, when it's just Shopbot or SMS, it's still going to be the same type of 
a foundation. You're going to have a foundation. Okay, I know how to do email marketing to learn SMS marketing is going to be a little bit different, but I know how to set everything up. And that's one of the biggest important things with email marketing. You need to capture people's information. So when I say email marketing, I want you to learn email marketing because it's one of the most important skills in 2020 and probably in the next five years is not going to go anywhere. But you're also going to have the foundation of how to actually set everything up so you can capture someone's information and follow up with them via email or via Shaba or via SMS. Once you know the foundation of email marketing, you can just apply that to any other platform, to any other SMS, to Shaba or whatever it is that is out there in the next and in, in the near future. You can go ahead and apply all of those foundations that you learn in email marketing to other things. Number three is copywriting. Okay, copywriting, guys, this is one of the most important skills that you could have. If you know how to write copy, write compelling copy that turns strangers into you know patients or that turns strangers into clients or customers or whatever it is, you will be extremely valuable because you use copywriting in your emails, you use copywriting in your landing pages, you use copywriting in your ads, you use copywriting everywhere. And copywriting is simply the ability to sell something online, right? Or anywhere, right? Copywriting has been around for a really, really long time. Back in the day when there was just newspaper ads or magazine ads, they just relied on writing a whole sales letter and hopefully people would buy from that. So having the ability to write compelling copy is one of the most important skill sets that will be here today, but will also be here, you know, 20, 30 years from now, because this skill set has been around for a really, really long time. And I'm sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Yes, there are certain um, software programs that tell that say, Hey, I'll write your copy for you completely. You know what you just pay me monthly or you pay a one time fee. And all you have to do is answer these questions and I'll write that copy for you. Okay. But that's not always a hundred percent correct. So you need to have the ability to go look at that and see, okay, what can I change this for? Because this doesn't make sense, right? So it's not always perfect. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say. So having the ability to write compelling copy, you, it's, it's going to go a long way, guys. It's going to go a long way because you will be able to look at an ad and say, okay, I can write this ad better than them. And the moment that you could do that and correct an ad or correct a sales letter or correct those landing page because it's not written appropriately, you are going to win every single time over your competitors. All you have to do is learn the skill set of copywriting and you will be golden because copywriting, like I said, goes in emails, goes in paid traffic, it goes everywhere. Okay, number four is actually sales funnel, funnel building. I just write funnel building. Okay, being able to build funnels is the future. And it's not really the future, it's the now because we know that websites are dying, right? Websites are just a, a hub, like I like to say, so you can have your information. But you never really run ads, you never run paid ads to a website, you run into a funnel. And the reason why you run into a funnel is because it has higher conversions. So you need to be able to write and create different type of funnels, like the opt-in funnel, right? You need to understand what is an opt-in funnel. You need to understand what's a sales video funnel, right? These are all very, very important things. And you need to understand what's a booking funnel. All of these are different type of funnels that you can have in your business and you can put them all together to create a big, big funnel that gets you opt-ins, gets people to see a, see, a, uh, see a video and gets people to book with you, right? So all of this is connected with emails as well. So the moment that you know how to build funnels, it's like funnels is like the blueprint, right? You have the blueprint of where everything goes and then you add email marketing to it and now you run paid traffic to it. And that's how you create a machine that it works for you and it works for your clients. If you're able to build all of this for your clients, it's going to automate their booking process. It's going to automate their follow-up. It's going to automate everything. And they will be extremely thankful for you. And they will not fire you because you build them a whole machine that gets them eyeballs, that gets them leads, and that gets them bookings all on autom all automated. How, who doesn't want that guys? Who doesn't want that in their business? If you're able to provide that for your clients, Hey, you'll be golden. 
Number five, and lastly, is content marketing. All right, I know most of you are probably not doing content marketing for your clients, right? But you need to understand that you need to have the skill set because like I always say, the more skills that you have, the more you're gonna get paid, right? Content marketing, you need to know it for yourself and for yourself because I always say, you need to come out with content, you need to grow your brand because the more you grow your brand, the more valuable you're gonna be. Remember what I said, if your client's brand is higher than yours, they're never gonna hire you. Your brand needs to be higher than your clients so they can so you can throw them the ladder and they can climb up in the value, okay? That's the whole point of content. Content builds your brand and it builds your influence. And the importance to understand how to come out with content and create content, how to deliver content, how to create omnipresence with content. It's extremely important. And it's one of the most important skills that you can acquire in 2020 and beyond because it's not going to go anywhere. Content marketing has been around for such a long time as well. Not just with social media, but it's been around with magazine, everything, right? Everything is content. And you want to go ahead and provide content content to people before you actually try to sell them something and being able to understand content marketing you can put all of that together with paid traffic and your clients are going to win because the moment that you provide value up front instead of asking for a sell up front you're going to win just in general so guys i hope you found this video helpful if you did go ahead and give it a like subscribe and other than that guys i'll talk to you guys later